Hi there everyone, my name is Julia and I went to camp for nine summers. I was there for four summers as a camper and then um, this summer I was an aide following that CIT and staff person where I spent a lot of great happy times in cabin 15. My final summer I was a Midler unit head. In addition to all the joyful memories that came from those uh, being a staff member, a camper, uh, one that really stood out to me too was um, leading the outdoor education and nature class for many summers. So today I thought I'd bring nature class to your home. How every nature class starts at camp um, the start of a session is we all come up with nature names. So a lot of people at camp knew me by Julia, but then they also knew me by my nature name, which is Juniper. So I want everyone right now to take a moment and come up with a nature name. So it could be an animal, it could be a plant, it could be something that you um, see in, na in nature. It could be a uh, something if weather related. All right, so hopefully now you have your nature name. And the next thing we're gonna do is get our materials ready for our activity for the day. So the materials that you're gonna need are some markers or a pen or pencil, piece of paper, and then something hard to write on. So I have this paper and a notebook here. All right, so the activity we're doing today is making a sound map. So what a sound map is, is you're going to basically find a place outside where you can sit um, where you're uninterrupted for 10 minutes. And in those 10 minutes, you're gonna draw what sounds you hear around you. So let's all start our sound maps together. So for your sound map, first step is to draw yourself in it. So we need to situate ourselves in our map. So draw yourself right in the center, not too big. I'm just gonna draw a little stick figure, Juniper right there. Maybe later I'll make myself, give myself hair and some clothes. But for right now, you're gonna put yourself in the middle of your sound map. Next is you're going to go find that spot to sit for 10 minutes and then draw the sounds around you. As you draw the sounds, you're going to draw sounds that you hear very close by to you, close to yourself on the map. Now, if it's a really loud sound, maybe you draw that, um, that whatever made that sound to be really big. If it's a softer sound, draw it a little smaller. And then for the sounds that you hear further away, those will go on the farther edges of your map. All right, hopefully that makes sense. And we are going to go now to our quiet spots. We're gonna sit for 10 minutes and then come back to share our maps. I hope you all enjoy this exercise and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Hi there everyone, welcome back. I hope that you all had a great time making your uh, sound maps and now is the time that we're going to um, get to share a map. So I'll show you mine just to, as again as an example, um, but obviously everyone's sound maps are gonna be different. So here's my sound map. As you saw at the beginning, I'm sitting in the middle and then I heard some sounds from the bushes and leaves sort of rustling around me. So I drew, drew those close by. Here's that really loud squirrel that I heard close by me. I never saw it, but I heard it. Then I heard a second airplane that was a bit louder than the first. So drew, drew two airplanes. There were some birds that were chirping off in the distance. Drew those there. Heard some kids shouting in the neighborhood. So here they are again, sort of off in the distance. And then a little bit um, into my making my sound up, I heard two about two cars go by and there was some honking. So here are the cars running by and um, making some honking sounds. And here is my sound map. The last thing that everyone will need to do for your sound map is to draw the, write the date, the day, and where, you're, um, where you sat for your 10 minutes. And your assignment is going to be to go out to that same spot on a different day at a different time and make a second sound map. Once you have the two sound maps, look at them side by side and notice um, what might be similar, what are common sounds that you hear in that spot, and what also might be different um, depending on the time of day, maybe even the weather. And um, I hope that you enjoyed making the sound map. One thing that I really love about this exercise is it allows me to really tune in to the sounds around me, be in the moment, and take note of things that I, um, a lot of times when I'm out and about, um, 
just um, and racing around, I don't take the time to pause and really take in the sounds of nature. Also take in sounds of cars and airplanes that um, are constantly passing by. Um, thank you all so much for joining me for this nature lesson. It was a joy tuning in and um, thinking about um, Camp Nokomis. Um, and I also hope that you all leave today's lesson, if not with a sound map, at least with a nature name. Um, Again, my name is Julia, also go by Juniper, and um, sending love to all the Nokomis ladies out there.